Pete Davidson has a new movie coming out uh, by famed director Judd Apatow. Remember Judd Apatow? You remember like remember the early two thousands? Remember Superbad? He fell off something. hard. Yeah. I'll tell you something. There was a vacuum mm -hmm. in America for like ten years. There was no good comedy. There was no good nothing. This was the post Dane Cook era, and it was it was a lawless land where Judd Apatow was able to make the same mediocre movie like ten times and get get cash money for it. Glad he's back. Was his downfall when he did that movie with Amy Schumer, who, by the way, does <laughs> cooking shows now? He was falling apart before that, I think. Yeah. Yeah, he, he, he hasn't really had a, a home run in a long time. We well, want to watch a trailer for his new movie, The King of Staten Island? Oh, I guess. I like your tattoos. What are those numbers on your arm? Oh. That I hope it's for a fucking camp <laughs> somewhere in <laughs> That's uh, the date my dad died. He was a fireman. Died in a fire 17 years ago. Wait, so is this the Pete Plucked. Davidson story? Plucked from the headlines. Is this Pete Davidson in the Plucked. Pete Davidson story? Plucked from the headlines. Is this the Pete Davidson biopic? Yes. Biopic or whatever, however you pronounce it? We are going to pluck this from the headlines. So is this part, it's going to be his life but not his life? <sighs> right. Right. Isn't this like one of the lowest forms of a film you can make? Like, isn't this the kind of movie they make for a rapper or, or right? Yeah. Like, this is a 50 Cent type thing, like I'm an Eminem type thing. Really glad that Judd Apatow is making comedies about 9 11. This See, so far, Laugh Riot? So he wants to make like an Eight Mile or like his Get Rich or Die Trying? Is that right? What? My dad died. He was a fireman. Died in a fire. <laughs> <laughs> this movie's going to be no, hilarious. That wasn't the joke. Oh. That was just the sad part. Oh, well, we're off to a good start in this comedy film. Died in a fire oh, 17 years oh, ago. Oh, my name's Pete Davidson. My dad. Oh, I used to have, instead of a dad, I just had a plaque I could visit every year. We Also, I don't know Jim Norton was writing this movie. <laughs> my dad died. See, like, he's taking, so what's happening is, like, He's taking the power from it. Like, you know, there's pain. Yeah, no, no. So, like, they're smoking weed. I hate this. And Mike, he's speaking truth to power. So what's happening is, is this, right? Like, he's, it's something tragic, but he's like, bro, you can make fun of me for it. I know. I know what he's trying to do. Tattoos, man. It's tattoos and weed stuff. It's pretty cool. Because, you know, Pete Davidson wanted to try some new stuff, something new. Comedy. It's it's this weird, like, he wants to be this, like, deep, meaningful, tortured guy. Right. Well, he's torturing me, all right. And it's so... It's pretty fucking... Just be funny. Like, you know why people remember some some other guys as, like, these tortured guys? Because... They were funny, like Chris Farley. Chris Farley didn't go around going like, God damn, I'm so dark and tortured. No, he did reason, coke and fuck prostitutes. The reason he's interesting to go back and study is because like, he's he tried to hold it together. He was a show business professional who would show up to The Tonight Show because he said he'd be there and he'd look like shit. And you could go back and study those and go, oh, was that one of his bad days? Look, he's barely holding it together. But Chris Farley wasn't going, oh, man, I'm so tragic, dude. Let's talk about my tragic life, man. He would come in and do his wacky dances, and he'd fucking put on a show, and then he'd leave and go do speedballs and almost die every night. Like... This guy is just too, it's too on the nose. It's like, God, man, I'm so tortured. Us funny guys, man, we're so dark and tortured. And it's like, you're, you're, you're selling it so hard that you're like, God, this is, you're so gay. Well, uh, I, I, say, I do say it all the time, but it's like, but Pete, the, the, the thing with Pete Davidson that really bothers me is he's trying to be a rock star and a comic, and I don't think you could be both, you know? Yeah, but that's, yeah, and, and the ones that, were a rock star and comics, you don't know about it until after they're dead. It's like, again, like the Chris Farley's and stuff. I don't even think anyone really knew what a rock star he was until he died. And people were like, oh, yeah, he was slamming heroin and doing hookers and fucking partying. And, you know, like they kept that shit kind of quiet 
It wasn't meant to be his persona. It was how they were. This guy's like selling the persona of it. And Can Marissa really Tomei still get it though? Yeah, of course, right? Marissa Tomei. Fuck, it's so hot. Yeah, and they probably had to make her look, you know, a little a fugly. Well, he's there from Staten Island. Yeah, so. That's true. You just if you step into Staten Island, you magically become uglier. Yeah. See. So Get tattooed a cat on the dude's who, stomach. No, who, so who wrote this movie? Pete Davidson's friends in his basement? Yes. <laughs> they wrote, they tattooed the script on his back. Bill Burr. Bill. Hey, Pete, check it out. I'm fucking your mom. What do you think, huh? <laughs> nah, that's crazy. Ah, but what do I know? Bill Burr's fucking <laughs> plowing your pl plowing your mom in the house that you live in with her, while and then doing his podcast on Monday. Why does Bill Burr look like a registered sex offender in this too? What's up with that? <laughs> Guy you date in seventeen years is a far Bill Burr looks like he's about to shoot. He's about to. Shoot. <laughs> Bill Burr looks like 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 the way you'd show up to an audition thinking you're supposed to look. For an 80s firefighter Yeah Like this movie calls for an 80s firefighter And you show up like Yeah I, don't know. I thought this looked good right Are you date in 17 years as a fireman Just like that You don't think that's weird You're too old to give a fuck Who your mom dates bro Like this movie's so dumb Like are, are, what? You're too old to give You uh, You ain't got over dad <laughs> What's the point of this movie? I'm waiting for the comedy. This is Judd Apatow. This is a comedy, right? Break. Oh, no. Oh, God. I just looked it up. <clears throat> yes. Yes. And the three writers. Who are the writers? It was Pete Davidson. Mm -hmm. It's Judd Apatow. Who's the third? Dave Cyrus. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the guy we were with. At the fucking comedy fight club, Dave Cyrus. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but to be fair, he's the third guy on there, which means this is mostly Pete Davidson and John Apatow. No, sin. no, no. Look, and, I like Dave. And Dave, Dave's probably the guy that was brought in, and they were like, could you do anything to punch this up? I Please like Please help us punch this up. But I will not give him a reprieve on this. Okay, that's I fair. like him. That's fair. That's no, I'm person. not defending it. I'm just saying that they, I could... That's... He probably was brought in there like this thing really is bad. Can you make it funny? Steve Buscemi's in it. And then your yeah, what do you think, uh, Pete? What do you think maybe you could become a firefighter? Huh? Like your pop? What do you think, huh? You risk your life every day uh, running up buildings, saving a bunch of babies? You make like a hot 32000 a year. What do you say, Pete? Huh? Ah, but what do I know? <laughs> the whole movie is just Pete Davidson. Should I? <laughs> Man, what if he's, if he's. Is he actually playing Pete Davidson in this movie? Because that would be even better if the movie's like, should I quit Saturday Night Live <laughs> to make $35,000 a year as a New York City firefighter? The whole movie is just him hanging. At, what if this really is? What if that really is just Steve Buscemi in the movie? And he's like, hey, I'm talking. I had to find the only guy who's done both. And you're the only other guy I know on the planet. It's like Letterman asking for Carson for advice. Yeah. You're the only guy I know that's been both a firefighter and a movie star. Which one should I do, Steve? <laughs> and Steve Buscemi's like, uh, I don't know, kid. I mean, I like acting's pretty cool. <laughs> I got to be on the Sopranos. I was in the I was in Boardwalk Empire. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, kid, I would stick with the acting. You get to bang actresses, and it's way less. It's uh, being a firefighter kind of sucks, to be honest. And that's the end of the movie. The end of the movie is him hanging out with Bill Burr and Steve Buscemi, and Bill Burr going, "Yeah, no, I'm just hanging around the firefighters because I'm, uh, you know, got a role coming up. I've just been following him around. This whole movie is Bill Burr is banging Pete Davidson's mom." In real life, it's a documentary. Bill Burr is following firefighters around for a role because they're going to make a, 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 a live action film version of uh, Dennis Leary's The Job. <laughs> Dennis Leary's Rescue Me. But Bill Burr is going to play the lead role in it. So he's learning how to be a firefighter. And this whole movie ends with them just making fun of firefighters at a diner. I gotta tell my mom you tried to drown me. To the fuck around pool, you're like fucking eight feet tall. Did they film this movie in fucking Carl's house from Aqua Teen? It really, it was Staten Island. Yeah. I mean, I, they probably filmed it in Staten Island, which 
That looks like Staten Island. That that definitely looks like Staten Island or Long Island. 